It is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, Brother Oscar, your belt voice, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word, and putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop. In your Christian walk. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, 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 man, hey, man, and we are so glad to do it. We are so, so glad to do it. And we hope you have your ears on, my friends. Do you have your ears on? Are you ready? Are you ready to hear another episode from us here at Cutting from the World? We hope you are, we hope you are ready to praise the Lord. As some may say, get your praise on. But here on Chatting from the Word, praising the Lord is what we do. Amen. All right, Brother Oscar. <laughs> praising the Lord is what we do here. That's writing from the Word. This is October the 29th, Friday. Already we are in the last week of October. Week Sunday would be the 31st, and the first would be on Monday, if the Lord say the same. October came on in and leaving so fast. But it's just a blessing. That the Lord has allowed us to see another month come and about to leave. It's just a blessing, my friends, that we are on the top soil and not the soil on top of us. And we now on this side of heaven. It is just a blessing that the Lord has blessed us with another wonderful, wonderful day. It was the psalmist who said in Psalm 118, 24, This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be, or we shall rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you, my friends, this morning, but Brother Oscar going to praise, praise, praise the Lord, thanking him for giving me Another wonderful, wonderful day, thanking him for giving me a second chance, another chance to make it right with him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So look outside my window here in Dayton, Ohio. It's kind of cloudy outside. And that's fine because the Lord has blessed us. Bless this old guy here to wake up this morning. Trying to get a smile on my face, <laughs> but recognizing that I am blessed just to be alive. All my aches and pains, with all my aches and pains, I am blessed to be alive and I'll have nothing, nothing to complain about. Because Brother Oscar, you know, one thing Brother Oscar recognized that this old body, as old as I get, older I get, is going to take its wear and tear. <laughs> you understand what Brother Oscar saying? So, pain part is part of getting older. But you know what, my friends? We need to praise the Lord, thanking Him for giving all of us another blessed day, another day to make it right with Him, another day to walk closer and closer with him. Praise, praise the Lord. Amen. And amen. Right, all right, all right, all 
First of all, we want to welcome all of our new listeners. If this be your first time listening in here uh, to us uh, on Chatting from the Word, you are our welcome guest. But you're not only our welcome guest, you are our honor guest. And we honor you today and we applaud you today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for listening in here with us and being with us this morning on chatting from the Word. And my friends, if you love what we're doing here on chatting from the Word, tell your friends about us. Share us on LinkedIn. Share us on Instagram. LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, or wherever you are in on the internet. Share, 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 shout out the news, let them know that Brother Oscar's on chatting from the Word in the morning at 9 o'clock, if it be the Lord's will. Again, we just uh, want to apologize for not coming on. On yesterday, we had to, uh, they had to replace some, uh, a wiring on the outside to put an electricity box and we was in the dark a little bit on yesterday so we didn't uh, air a program on yesterday but the Lord has blessed us to be here today with another wonderful wonderful program and we hope that to keep your ears on do you have do you have your ears on my friends just keep your ears on so that you can hear our program through the whole entirety of the show today. Amen and amen. My friends, do you love us here? Have we put that all important snap, cracker, and pop in your Christian wall? Have we inspired you to 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 to, to lift to lift the Lord up? with your life and with your living? Have you learned something from the many chats that we have had? And yes and yes to both questions. We want to ask you another question. Can you help us out here with chatting from the word on a financial basis? And if you can, if you can, and if the answer is yes, we do have a account on PayPal. Just go to the PayPal webpage, put in paypal.com, and put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. Or you can go to jail and do the same. Put in my email address, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com. And any amount you put in will be satisfactory. Any amount, any amount, any amount. And if you want to sponsor us on a monthly basis, you are welcome to do that as well. And again, any amount you put in will be satisfactory. Amen. And uh, Hey, hey, man. Where am I? Where am I, you all? Where am I? Here I am on Chatting from the Word. And I am your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all important snap, crackle, and pop. In your Christian world. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We are so, 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 so delighted to do just that. Now, many of you do recognize where we are broadcasting from, correct? We said every day on the air that we are broadcasting from that wonderful, beautiful state of Ohio. Yes, we are. And 
and Ohioans, we hope you have ears on, Bill Oscar. No, you have ears on because you are listening. You are listening, and I want to thank you, Ohioans, for listening to your brother here, Brother Oscar York. Thank you. And I also want to thank the state of Michigan, especially Detroit, for listening in. Thank you, Michigan, for listening in. Keep on listening to us here at Chatting from the Word. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Amen. And a, a man. All right, all right, my friends. It is time for our snap shot. Amen. It's time. It's time for our snap shot of the program today. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Of course, you heard our introductory song, which was God's Grace and Mercy, sung by Wayne Williams. And soon it will be our prayer time, our prayer time. And of course, Radius a cappella will be singing Sweet Hour of Prayer. And our scripture text will be found in Psalms, I believe, the 55th Division. Psalms, the 55th Division, verses 1 through 8. Psalms, the 55th Division, verses 1 through 8. And you're welcome to read along with us if you have a copy of God's Word. And our song for today would be the brothers, the brothers, clean heart. My friends, if you want to see the Lord one day, you must have a clean and pure heart. Yes, you must have. That's a must. Amen. 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 All right. That's a must. You must have a clean and pure heart. A clean heart by brothers. And then our chat, our chat. You know we've been talking about the church, the called, the church, the called, the church, the called out. And we're taking, uh, we're studying from the lesson that Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthian church. We are in First Corinthians, the first chapter, and we are on the end verses of that chapter verses 26 through 31 and my sub topic or uh, statement that we want to take here is he that glory let him glory in the lord he that glory are glory let him glory in the lord and we believe that apostle paul had a purpose and a reason for making that statement. Because some of us, we want to glory in ourselves. But here Paul said, if you are glory, glory, let your glory, let your praise be in the Lord. Amen and amen. And my friends, that was the snapshot of our program today. Yes, it was. Amen. And amen. Now, my friends, my friends, are you ready? Are you ready to take this ride with your brother here, Brother Oscar York, today as we take this ride? Praising, praising the Lord. My 
This is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want Brother Oscar to pray for here, or chatting from the Word, you know what to do. Just send it to my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar, you are 3443 at gmail.com, or you can put it on any, uh, uh, on our Facebook page that's dedicated to the program. And you can put it on any page that you're listening to the program through in the comment section. Again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for heal, chatting from the word, you can use those avenues to get your prayer request to us. And if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, that is fine. We do respect your confidentiality here at Chatting from the Word. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me, and we'll be so delighted to do uh, just that. Amen. Amen. And as always, we want you to keep those in your, in your prayer list or 
where you go to your special place and you talk with the Father in your prayers. Keep them in your prayers, those that love loved ones, those that are going through some difficult times, and those that are, are trying to make a difference when it comes to God's Word. And keep your brother here, Brother Oscar, also in your prayer. Prayers, pray for me as I pray for you. If you have a copy of God's Word, our scripture text for our prayer time will be taken from Psalms, the 55th uh, division, and we want to begin reading at verse 1. And here, the psalmist penned these words. He says, Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. I turn unto me and hear me. I mourn in my complaint and make a noise. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression, because of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me and in wet and in wrath they hate me. My heart is sore pain within me, and the terrors of death are falling upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror has overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, then would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness. So I would I hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Amen. But just have wings, David said. If I had wings, I just could fly away from all the problems, from all the difficulty, from all the fears in this life and I just have wings and many of us we feel we feel like that sometimes but my friends is when we go to the Father in prayer and we know he hears our prayers when we can have that special solace and that special relationship with him and that special talk with him Will you throw the throne of grace with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy precious and thy holy, holy name. O oh, Father, we come to you this morning in the humblest way we know how, with our heads bowed, our eyes and our minds, Father, lift it up to you. First of all, Father, in thanksgiving, thank you, Father, for watching over us on last evening as we slept in slumber. Father, thank you, thank you, thank you, Father, for waking us up on this wonderful, glorious, glorious day, given out of us on this side of heaven a second chance, another chance to make it right with you, another chance to live and to glorify you. And Father, 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 we thank you. We just want to thank you for that, Father. Thank you. And Father, we want to thank you in a special way for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, to come down on this crude world and show us how to live among crude people. Show us how to love crude people. Show us how to love you. Show us how to love one another. And Father, we thank you for his sacrifice on the cross. Becoming sin for us. He knew no sin, but it became sin. So that Father, we may free, be free from our sins and be connected back to you. Father, we thank you for that sweet, sweet, special gift. And Father, we come praying for the world at this time. 
We recognize Father that the world stands at a far distance from you. But Father, what we request is that you allow us to be the light to shine on this world and show those who want to come out the world of sin and be translated into the kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh Father, we come praying for those who have contracted this coronavirus. Oh Father, we pray that you touch their bodies. Allow them to rise from their bitter sickness. Help them to be whole again so Father they may, so that they may praise you. Oh Father, we come praying for those who have lost loved ones at this time. Father, we pray that you comfort their hearts and minds. We recognize, Father, that they are mourning and their heart is aching. So, Father, we pray that you comfort them. And also, Father, comfort them uh, losing loved ones at the hands of the police. They also need comforting as well, Father. And, Father, we pray for the police officers who had to take a life. Father, we, Father, we just pray that it was justified. And if justified, Father, we pray for those police officers who had to do what they had to do. Be with their hearts, minds, and souls. And Father, we come praying for the church once again. Oh, Father, allow us as a whole, as a unit, as the church, to be a beacon of light to lead others to the shore of safety, to the shore of Jesus Christ. To the body of Christ. Oh, Father, we come praying. Father, we come praying for our political leaders, Father. We pray, Father, that though divided, that they never make laws forbidding us of worshiping you. But, Father, make laws so we can all live in peace and in harmony. Oh, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that to be with each and every one of them. Help them. Help them with the problems. Help them in the good times. Be with them in the good times. Help them through their bad times. Help them when they feel so low as David did here, that they may have wings. But help them recognize that in Jesus Christ is where all the peace is that through Jesus Christ where we all can find solutions to our problems. The Lord, Father, we just pray that our listeners find peace in, in Jesus Christ and recognize that all things are possible to Him. And Father, we come praying for our, our program this morning. We pray for Chatting from the word, Father, help us to keep this fine program going and going. And Father, we pray for our lesson this morning. The church that called out. Help us, Father, that we may say something. To help someone to see the light. Help us, Father, that we may say something. To help someone to help someone live and be stronger in you. And Father, again, we pray for those that we've been praying for all this time. Help them to navigate through this life. Help them to, uh, though they lost loved ones, comfort their minds. Help them when they're feeling bad and blue. Help them, Father, to uh, uh, with the problems and be with those that are trying to make a difference when they come to your word. And Father, as always, always, Father, help us to be encouraged and not discouraged. Just help us, Father. Help us. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' blessed name, do we pray. Amen and amen. I want to thank you for reading our scripture text along with us. But praying along with us, and as always, we hope that we pray for something that is on your minds. All right, all right, all right. We'll be right back 
would be something had after these messages. All right, all right, all right. We hope you still have your ears on, my friends. Do you have your ears on? Are you ready for our second half of the program today? And if you are sticking with us, we are so happy and so blessed that you are. And we want to thank you for listening to us today. You're just a blessing, and we love every one of you all. We really do here at Chatting from the Word. But my friend, do you like us? I hope you do. Well, on the Spreaker platform, it's a place where you can put your likes. And you can listen to us through our Spreaker platform. And if you love us, follow us here on our Spreaker platform. And we also come in live on YouTube. We're live on YouTube at this time. And if you're listening to us through our YouTube station, like us too and give us a thumbs up. But if you love us, subscribe to us. Subscribe to us. Hit the subscription button and then hit the bell so that they may notify you every time that we are broadcasting an episode. And then we are tweeting, tweeting, tweeting on Twitter. Love us as well on Twitter. And of course on Tumblr, we are coming on Tumblr. Love us on Tumblr. And I believe we're on Facebook. So my Facebook friends, when you see my face, hit my face right here. <laughs> uh, touch, tap my face and it will lead you uh, to our program. And the next voice you will hear was me, my voice. Okay, so join us at 9 o'clock in the morning and love us. Amen. And a a man. Now, most of you know that we're coming. We do come on most of your internet networks, correct? We are on Music Download, VSC, Lave, Joyce Van, Chrome, Wellview, Bullhorn, Alexa, Media Player, Farplayer.net, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Partaker, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, I or Radio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet, or Generic, Android, App, Bing.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Park, Podcast, CastBox, Podcast Addicts, Freaker, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. And if you want a direct link, visit the Google Play or App Store and download Freaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up. And once you find us, put us in your favorite so that you will not miss now what episode when we are airing. Amen. And amen. Now, my friends, it is that time, that time, that time, that time. What time is it, Brother Oscar? For us to play our own selection or the program. And our selection today will be Brothers Clean Heart. We love that song. We love that song here. Brothers, 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 clean heart. And here they are. No. 
Too, but I love that. That was brothers of brothers, clean heart. You must have a clean heart, my friends. If you're going to follow Jesus, you must have a clean and pure heart. Good job, brothers. Good job. We love that beautiful, beautiful a cappella song. A clean and pure heart. Amen. And a man. Where am I, you all? Where am I? I am here on chatting from the word. And I am your host, your brother, Oscar York the Voice. Where we are chatting about the word from the word and putting the all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian. Yes, we are. And we are so, 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 right, all right, all right. We'll be right back with the message after these messages. All right, all right, all right. It is time for our chat. Are you ready for the chat, my friends? You have a copy of God's Word? If you don't have a copy, 
If you have home, go get one. But if you're out and about, that's fine. But if you're at home, if you want to uh, study along with Brother Oscar on this chat that we're doing this morning, if you can grab a Bible or if you have your Bibles with you, turn with me to the letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthian church. And we're going to take our lesson from First Corinthians, uh, First Corinthians, the first chapter, and I believe we left off the last time uh, at verse twenty-six. I believe that's where we are. Remember, last time we were talking about that the power, the power of God, the power of God. It's Christ. Christ is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Christ is the power. The power is not in Brother Oscar. I'm going to let you know that right now. Don't believe that you can be saved in Brother Oscar. Because I'm not claiming my word. I'm claiming the words of Jesus Christ. And the power, my friends, is in Christ Jesus. Those some of us, we may not think that the power is in Christ Jesus. Especially the fact that he hung on the cross. But the biggest part of that, he rose triumphantly, having the power over death and the grave, and all power, Matthew 28 says, all power was given unto him. So my friends, if you want to be saved, it's in the power of Jesus Christ. And I believe this is the point that Brother Paul is trying to make here. He is saying that the power is not in the great things on this earth. God's power is not in the mighty men on this earth. God's power it's not in the smartest men, smartest things, or smartest people in this world. God doesn't look at things that way. He doesn't. But what God, what Paul is saying, first of all, the power is in Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ himself. He didn't look at the greatest or the smartest or those that had the PhDs or those that made it big in the eyesight of the world. Oh, my friends, Jesus himself looks at those things that we ourselves don't think it's so great. And here Paul says in verse 26, read along with me, will you please? And Paul said, for ye see your calling, brethren, how there are not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble or called, after the flesh. See, God, He's not concerned about things on this earth. Christ's mission, when He came on this earth, was to die for your sins and mine. His mission was to show us how to love, His mission was to show us how to care. Care for those things, or even much 
to some of us don't even make sense, but they make sense to God. To God, they make sense. We may not be able to make sense of everything, but to God, it makes sense. If we can just look at things from the outside of God, and maybe we can understand a lot of things. If we can see what God sees, maybe we can understand a few things. And here Paul says in verse 27, But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Oh, my friends, Paul right there said a mouthful. He said that God confound the foolish things of this world. Of this world to be wise. To be wise. Oh, my friends, we think that when we hear our TV and hear people quoting numbers, adding numbers, people predicting with every rain, with every storm. People, you may see that they are doing the most beautiful of deeds. But God is saying, God is saying that I, I don't, what I can find in is the foolish things of this world, not the wise. And they say, God has chosen the weaklings of the world to confirm the things which are mighty. Oh, my friends, going back in my mind, thinking about David and Goliath. Oh, you think a little scrawny little boy like David could not defeat a giant like Goliath. But God knew, God knew he could, because David was with God. Oh, my friends, if you hang with God, be with God, be in God, be in Jesus Christ, you are mighty. We're not mighty of ourselves, about ourselves. It's when we are in Jesus Christ, it's when we are the greatest. Oh, my friends, we need to stop looking at the flesh. We need to stop looking what makes this world tick. But what we need to do is start looking what makes... God in Christ Jesus tick. What can we do for God to love God more? For God is not concerned. He's not concerned about the flesh. He's not concerned about the greatest one on this world. Many of us, just because we have reached a pinnacle in our lives and think we're so great. Oh, my friends, if you didn't do it in Jesus Christ, I'm here to tell you, it is nothing. And then Paul says in verse 28, And base things of the world and things which are Despise has God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to naught things that are all that are. In other words, Paul is saying that the things of this world one day God gonna bring to nothing, to nothing. Here, Paul. It's trying to get the Corinthian church to recognize that our thoughts, our minds should not be on the physical. We should not put stock in the physical. 
We should not put stock in man, but in God, where our faith should lie. In Christ Jesus is where our faith should stand. Not in faith, man. Not in faith that this world say faith is, but the faith that is in of Jesus Christ. And then verse 30, Paul said, But of him are ye in, okay, I'm meeting, okay, verse 29, that no flesh should glory in in his presence. Listen to what Paul is saying. God is not concerned about this flesh. Uh, Paul not saying that is nothing, but what Paul is saying that what we need to do is find glory and hope in Jesus Christ. A lot of us reason why we get so down and out. Reason why we are worrying about the temporal things is because we cannot see Jesus Christ. Because we are so much living in the flesh instead of living in the spiritual. The Bible says that God is a spirit. For they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. But sometimes we forget that because we are clinging more to the flesh instead of allowing the spirit to have its dominion. We allow the flesh to have its dominion. And then... In verse 30, Paul said, But of him, but of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. In other words, it's in Christ Jesus that we are sanctified. It is in Christ Jesus that we are redeemed. And it is in Christ Jesus that we have all the wisdom of Christ. Most of us need to hold to that fact. It is in Christ, not me, not any other brother. Not that minister that you hold so dear, but it's in Christ, my friends. If you want to be enough holding up your minister and not holding up Christ, you must think differently because redemption and salvation is not in that man. I hear people. Oh, brother, so, so, oh, pastor, so, so, you said it so beautifully. Oh, pastor, you did a good job. <laughs> oh, brother, you did a wonderful job. I'm here to tell you that the hope is in Jesus Christ, not in me. I'm just a spoke person. I'm speaking his words and not mine. I'm not relying on my own wisdom, but the wisdom of Jesus Christ. And then Paul says on the end verse here, verse 31, that according, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Glory 
If you want glory, my friends, glory in the Lord. If you want glory, my friends, don't glory in the flesh. Don't glory in man. Don't want to be that person who wants to stand in front of millions and millions of people and get their praise and get their glory. For all Paul is saying, the glory is in Jesus Christ. This is the point that Apostle Paul is trying to get the Corinthian church to recognize that the glory is not in me, a no other man, but the glory is in Jesus Christ. We're going to end it there. We hope that we have said something to cause you to think about your soul condition, about your soul salvation, and that you visit the body of Christ. Ask your questions. Or even if you want to email me with questions, you are welcome to do that. Amen and amen. We'll be right back with the closing after these messages. Right, 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 right. Hey. <laughs> we are back, we are back, we are back, and we hope that uh, we said enough in our chat to cause you to think about your soul condition. And as always, if you want to catch our program, our program is on all the internet networks that we called out earlier. So we hope that you catch the program. If you listen to it, if you did not listen to it live, catch the other program. So if you want to share our thought with others, catch the program on these other internet networks. And we usually try to share it with as many as we can. And if when we share it with you, share it to others. Let others know the beautifulness of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. And before I forget, I want to apologize for last Monday's show on the, the TV show. Uh, my, my laptop, cut. my camera was cut off short because we had to redo the, the, the minutes. We didn't have enough uh, space to finish the job. We had to go in and do some tinking and tricking and all that. So we apologize for that cutout on our program on YouTube. But you can always go back and listen to that program, see Brother Oscar up close and personal, if that be your desire. Amen and amen. We pray with me, please. So, Father, which art in heaven, mother, be thy name. Thy kingdom is here, for all thy will is being done. Father, we pray for each of our listeners. Father, we pray, we pray that to be with each and every one of them. Help them to glorify you. Help them to show the world their light. Help them to walk with us not crackle and pop in that day. Now may the grace of God, through communion of the Holy Spirit, rest rule and abide with us all. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye. And may God bless.